Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. You can make a beautiful Christmas. We can make the world shine bright. As long as friends and family are with us, every star will shine tonight. We can make it beautiful. It's Christmas. We can make it beautiful. Yes, this is the exact same outfit and the exact same makeup you saw last week. <laughs> That's because I am pre-filming and I am hitting two birds with one stone. Being the stone is my camera. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you about five items that I think were really big flops this year that came out. And I actually have three of them, but two of them I no longer have because they either got misplaced or I returned it on accident. <laughs> the very first product is the Cherry Setting Spray that came out with the Naked Cherry Collection launch. I'll leave a picture right here so you know what it looks like. And I didn't like it because it said it was supposed to have a cherry scent and also it was in the All Nighter Setting Spray form. And as you know, I have dry skin, so the all-nighter does not work with me. I wish they would have had a variety of it, so I wish they would have put like it in all-nighter, in uh, D-Slick, and maybe even like um, Chill or something, just to get like a nice variety for other skin types. But they only did it in the all-nighter. I did try it. I did want to test it out to see how it looked and how it wore. I didn't like it. Um, it definitely did not smell like cherry. It smelled more like alcohol. So definitely did not enjoy that. <laughs> and the setting spray only came in a travel size so it was only $15. So it was pretty good priced I guess but just wasn't my cup of tea. The rest of the cherry collection was pretty good. My favorite out of the whole collection was the cherry palette. I do love it. I did a review on it. The link will be down below. Shameless promo! Now, I think you all saw this coming from how much I very much dislike this product. <laughs> the next thing that launched was definitely not my cup of tea was the uh, Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefits. And I did not like it because the, first of all, the bristles are very small and very just non-existent pretty much. So they didn't clean to my lashes very well and when I tried it, um, it was very flaky and it actually did smear under my eyes because it said you could wear it for, what was it, 36 hours I think it was and it still looked great. So I did a review on that and I did a trial test on it, didn't work, wasn't great. It was waterproof though and if you want to figure out how I found that out, definitely watch the video. <laughs> so the next product from Benefit is you guys probably already know, you guys have probably already guessed it, you guys are probably like Danielle, get on with it, <laughs> is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I hate this with a passion. I Okay, hate is such a strong word, but I very, 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 very strongly dislike this product. I have tried it multiple times, I have tried to use it, I even tried to use it today, that's why my brows look gross and wonky. No offense, I thought the concept of it was dumb <laughs> and I just didn't see a use in it because I only use one shade to fill up my whole brows and this has a dark side for the outer ones, a lighter for the inner ones, then it has a definer and a highlighter and it was just too much. I didn't like it. Nope. Just wasn't my thing. Don't see a point in it. Just a waste of $34. Yes. $34. If I could take it back, I could. I really would. I would get my money back. I would love my money back, please. <laughs> but I will not. Oh, and the Bad Gal Bang retails for $25. Re really some it's really I take a big L with these. I, you know what? It's for you guys. This is for you. <laughs> And the next product I actually don't have, it is the Huda Beauty Fox, or no, Faux, I always call it Fox for some reason, Faux Filter Foundation. I used the shade, I don't, I don't even remember what shade I used, but it retails for $40 and it sucks. <laughs> okay, it doesn't suck. It's really nice. It has a really good full coverage. It was uh, very nice and like smooth on it. It's just started flaking. 
at first I thought it was really good I wore it like a few days and I was like this is really good foundation I actually really like it but then as I kept wearing it and started actually really looking at my skin it creased a lot sooner right here than I usually do and it actually started flaking down on my chin which is really weird because I've never had a foundation flake in just one area if I had a foundation I think it was the only time I ever had another foundation flake on me is the um, LA girl one and that flaked pretty much everywhere but this one only flaked on my chin which was really weird and I used it with different setting powders I used it with different setting sprays just to make sure I wasn't going crazy and yep it just kept flaking and I just couldn't do with it and I think this is the one I accidentally returned or I probably lost it I don't know but yes that is also on my bad launching list okay <laughs> next product the last product I have for you today is also a Huda brand again it is the Huda Beauty uh, powder whatever it's called the what, well, I don't know what it's called but it's the powder and pound cake and at first I thought it was nice it feels very nice and velvety like literally I don't know it's so finely milled and it kind of reminds me of what it remind me of I think it, uh, which one does it, I think it reminds me of Cody airspun where it's nicely milled but for some reason it wasn't good at setting it's like it says it's a setting and baking powder but when I used it to set my face it would always still crease like I would get the worst creasage under my eyes and y'all know I'm really tired all the time so these eye bags need to go as much as they can and this powder did not help whatsoever and then it also said it would bake and you guys know I bake especially when I have um, a big extravagant eye look um didn't really bake either it didn't really like emphasize my highlight or anything like that so this one was just a no for me maybe I'll use it again if like I'm only going out for like an hour or something I can use this just to like, get rid of it or maybe I'll just give it to a friend that's uh, more oily or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are my top five worst products that came out this year. Um, like I said, this is my opinion and I just want to share it with you, especially if you have like my skin tone or my skin type as well. Just so you know you get the gist of it because I don't want you wasting your money, you know? If one of these products actually works out for you, make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me how you use it because maybe I'm using it wrong or maybe I just want to be jealous of you because it works for you. And yeah, <laughs> um, I think this is all I have for you today. Um, no bad things towards these brands. I love all the brands. I love, well, I love most of the brands. You the beauty, my bad. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. And since it is Christmas time, I am posting two videos every week. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday.